KKI News Time, 847 now. I have a very special guest in the studio, Mr. Dave Naves of Dave Works. He is going to help us make some money today, hopefully. It's the web delivered in plain English. Welcome to the KHI Studios, Dave. Oh, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. How's it going today? It's going good. Going good. Busy, busy as always. But lots of it. Well, you stay busy. It's uh, all that content that you have to put up everywhere and help <laughs> businesses and your ebook. That's pretty cool. Oh. We have a, a author in here today. It's a free, profitable blogging and social networking, and uh, we'll have the link online at KHI. So uh, tell us, Dave, how do we make a lot of money <laughs> doing social networking? Right, as I posted this morning, how to make an extra $5 billion. $5 yeah. billion. <laughs> I'm listening. Plus, plus or minus. Well, yeah, you know, um, with social, as, as I often say, it's, it's a, these social networks are, are very, very powerful networks. Um, uh, so I, th I thought I'd just start with saying here's the reason why many businesses kind of fail at social uh, networking is because they forget the type of networks they've joined, right? Most businesses are constantly in advertising mode, right? <clears throat> they post pushy advertising focused content and they push it in people's faces. They don't understand, you know, they, they, they also don't understand or, or nor do they believe in, in kind of the social paradigm, which is be social. Don't, don't push advertisements into people's faces. Not preaching, and, right? Not preaching. Not not on a social network. Those there's different networks for that, right? Um, they also can uh, ignore the time commitments um, that that are really required. Uh, you know, in this in this day and age, that um, are re required. If if you're gonna join a, a social network, then you have to be social. You have to. You you can't forget where you're at, right? Um, they often don't supply their teams with the correct knowledge or tools. Right. Um, just remember, these are social networks and most folks are there to be social. So be social. Right. Think. And this is how I try to put my clients in into the, the right paradigm, which is just think I'm at a wedding. Right. That's a social place. That's a good so fun, example. Right? Mm -hmm. Don't be the person who starts at handing business cards to everybody sitting in, in the aisles. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't be that guy. Don't be that girl. Schmucky. Just, right. It, that's because that's exactly what you do when you start posting. Um, your 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 pushy call to actions, all that all that stuff. Even mm -hmm. you know, if if you're, you, people are looking at pictures of their kids and their grandkids and having fun, poking whatever, political, all that stuff. And the second they start seeing something that looks like an advertisement, they 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 get put off. It's immediate turn off. Right, and the wallets certainly aren't going to be open, mm -mm. right, when someone's being pushed at. So, um, if you're going to advertise, then advertise. But if you'll notice, on, for most of Facebook's, and, and, and this goes for all the social media, all those advertisements are pushed off to the right. Mm -hmm. Most people don't want to see them, right? right? We talked about it last week. 96% of people are there in the middle to see that cool content, whatever they consider cool, whatever they've liked, whatever they've shared, whatever they've commented on. That's what's important to them. So don't insert yourself there and immediately alienate them. They're certainly not going to buy from you. Right. you got to <clears> lighten up. You don't have to lighten up. Okay. So if you're going to advertise, I'm not saying advertisement doesn't work, mm -hmm. but you're going to be put in that bottom four percentile, mm. right? That's just the way it works. Now, as I said last week, you know, Google makes $60 billion on that four percent. It works. Mm -hmm. But... If you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna come to the dance, be prepared to dance. Right. right. So there's a time and place. There's a time for and place. And hard advertising. Exactly right. And the fact is, and here's here's what um, I've been trying to refine my little spiel to to smart business owners is over the over the years, why wouldn't you want to put insert yourself into that 96 percentile? Why wouldn't you want to get an A? Why wouldn't the return on your investment is far greater than any advertising opportunity well and the future of your business depends on it it does the bar has been lifted this is where the the smart businesses are social mm -hmm. it's not about hiring a bunch of marketers it's about it's about and it's not even and it's not about hiring smart technical people the technical part comes it's not even that technical I mean they, Facebook alone has over a billion active users right it's not hard but you have what what you do need is you need you need to have the expertise of whatever you're an expert at in your particular field, right? If you're a surfer, you're an expert at surfing, right? If you, if you're, if you own an air conditioning business and you know heating and repair, then you should talk about that. Tell people and 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 not just talk about you know, not talk about what's important to you. Talk about what's important to your pot potential customers. Mm -hmm. Most you know it's pretty simple. 
when you get out there on the web. Most people want to know how to save money, how to make money, how to you know keep their kids safe, all that stuff that the basic human you know needs, all, all those basic human needs are right in front of you. So mm -hmm. get into their heads and share, like associate yourself with whatever it is you do. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. That's right. right. People would, I, um, it's important to me, like to even do a show like this, is to be helpful. And that's one of the big secrets in making money on social networking is just be helpful. People I love that radio is still uh, <laughs> our, a social network. We're, we're redefining it here today. Absolutely. And and you give a lot of these tips in your ebook, Free Profitable Blogging and Social Networking. Uh, I'm going to kind of detract from, from the topic at hand a little bit and ask you about this book. What made you publish this? What what made you put it together and, and get it out there? Oh, well, thanks for asking. Um, honestly, it's uh, many of these same questions come up over and over and over over the years. You know, I've been how long I've been doing this? Twenty two years now. The same questions keep popping up. So I use it as a helpful tool for people to refer to because I know that you know I talk a lot <laughs> during the course of my day. I exhaust myself um, giving away all these all these tips. It's it's also um, if, so A, it was to be helpful because I believe in helping and paying it forward and sharing. I believe in social networking. I really do. Even even with people screaming at each other online, all the mm -hmm. drama that happens, you know, at least we're talking. At least people are And watching and looking <laughs> and, and watching. participating. Absolutely. And, and that's that, that's what I really like about social network. We, I think we could pr all probably do a better job of listening. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there, there are the, the lurkers out there that don't do anything. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but if we listen a little more and, and try to uh, at least post stuff in a... In a, in a nicer, uh, you know, format, I think more people would be open to receiving information. Um, so I believe in social networking and, and, and everything that comes with it. I also have posted that ebook because it's a sales tool for me, right? Mm -hmm. If free goes a long way in my industry and in any industry and people, um, pe people love downloading free stuff, just like that's why, you know, Google is so incredibly powerful is they Everything they do is free. We don't pay to use Google. Mm -hmm. We don't pay to use Maps. We don't pay to use Gmail, all that stuff. Yet they still make $60 billion, right? So mm -hmm. they understand the power of creating a gigantic pie. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I want to do with my little business, right, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. create a gigantic pie. So part of it is when people download my ebook, I capture their emails. Now, every time that I do a blog post or, or again, more helpful information, they get an email. So it's a way to build my business. But here's the difference. When I... You know, even when you when you sign up for the for, and grab the, the free ebook, I do ask for your email address, but I'm never going to spam you mm. with a bunch of advertisements. All I continue to do is post helpful information, and it doesn't even always have to do with, you know, uh, social networking or, or e-commerce or whatever I'm, I'm trying to sell. It often has to do with how to keep your kids safe with their smartphones. Inclusive right? versus intrusive. <laughs> Very nicely right? said. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it you know I associate myself with this industry and I try to post helpful information and the business is ancillary, and that's I'm not uh, I'm saying this because everybody could and in my opinion should be doing this with their business. Take the web seriously. Don't just use your website <clears throat> as a marketing tool, right? It's it's it, uh, people often just consider it a, uh, a glorified business card or a brochure when the most powerful part of having a website is is the blog. And the networking. And the networking that comes with the it. The peers and potential <clears throat> customers, the potential, the peers' friends, absolutely. Right. It becomes an asset and not a liability. Mm -hmm. And that's what I try to profess in you know, all, all my little speeches and whenever I go into consultations is your website, you should really put it to work. There is no bigger game on the planet than the web. It's not that hard either. It's not that hard. And all you have to know and all you have to talk about is your expertise, right? The, it's not hard. It's not hard to get people to talk about their business or whatever it is they're passionate about, right? The most mm -hmm. overly used word in the English language is I, mm -hmm. right? So, all you, and, that's, and that's actually another secret if you want to make a bunch of money. Start posting questions and asking people, don't, not dumb stuff, but actual, ask people about themselves. Ask people about their business. Participate. It, participation, right? The, the communication, the connection between people is far greater than any advertisement, right? So... If you want smart return on your investment, invest your time. Most of the tools are free, right, on, on, on social network. And when I talk to social network, I, I typically talk about the big six, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Pinterest. Those are clearly the, the winners in their specific arenas. There's so many social networks available. I try to concentrate on, on the big six. And 
don't underestimate the power of one over the other. Use them all. There are tools, uh, social dashboards that right. you can use to post to all at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, the most, like in, in future shows here, I'd, I'd really like to be able to talk about the ones that people mostly. Uh, um, uh, or, Good or, Lord, or, we have a leaf blower outside. I apologize, <laughs> listeners. <laughs> <laughs> keeping our le keeping our sidewalks clean here at K High. Um, <clears throat> we I like to talk about um, all uh, break down the uh, social networks one by one over the over the coming weeks. Um, a lot of people don't understand Google Plus. You know, if you if you have to or you have an attitude towards other social networks, I'd highly recommend that you pay, pay attention to Google Plus. Google Plus is owned by Google. Where do you think that your social posts are going to be posted if you want to do well on, on the search engines, which is Google? So play with Google+. Plus. Um, Twitter. Twitter is often misunderstood. Um, you know, people don't understand hashtags. I misunderstand it. Right. It's, it's, <laughs> uh, oftentimes it's not very visual, mm -hmm. right? Um, which that's why a lot of people love Facebook, and granted, Facebook has the most users, um, although Google+, Plus is by this year, by this time... I think at the beginning of next year, Google Plus is going to bypass um, Facebook in terms of popularity for businesses. Really? Yes, absolutely. They've, huh. you know, they went from 50 million to 650 million users in one year. Wow. Facebook took five That's to, to huge. do that whenever you're coming up. So, but Twitter, you know, like um, Twitter is is a very it's probably the easiest um, social network to convert, and here's why: it's real time conversation. And Google has just announced um, in the past couple of weeks that they're going to start posting Twitter feeds in their search results. Oh, wow. So you can shop for customers right on Twitter, but again, don't shop, don't push, don't be advertising. Connect with people, right? So I'd, if, if possible, I'd like to just leave the show. I think we're wrapping up here. Is that right? Yes, sir. Um, I'd like to leave people with just uh, three points. Um, if you want to do well and you want to make a bunch of money on social networks, A, be social. B, be transparent. And three, be helpful. And you'll make a lot of money on oh, social networking. That's brilliant. Dave Naves with Dave Works. What's your website? Uh, DaveWorks.net. And if you want to download the free ebook, you can just click on Start Here. All right. We'll see you next week. Have a great weekend, everybody.